y'all. I just want to get on here and tell y'all a few reasons why I feel like it would be beneficial to have a side chick in your relationship. Number one, sure? I think. Let me shut up right now. <laughs> why is it beneficial for you to have a side chick in your relationship? I just think it's. Actually, 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 shut up. Money. Like, there might be like, some needs. Every single day, you get on Keith Lee's internet and you spit out some stupidity. Because I'm telling you right now, if you ever, if you ever think that you can be in this marriage with me and have a side chick, who do you think that I am? What kind of marriage do you think that you in? Do I look stupid? I'm sorry, this ain't one of those he know where home is type of marriages. Because I'm telling you, your doors will be locked. I don't disagree with her, my boy. You wildin'. You wildin'. But at the same time now, ladies, ladies, ain't nothing wrong with having sister wives, have another beautiful lady pick up the slack. I ain't even gonna say slack, because if I say slack, you might get offended. But it's certain days you might be tired. You know, it's certain days you might just not be in the mood to deal with my black ass. What's wrong with having a tag team partner? What are things you do now that you feel like would make you a good wife? Um, I don't require a lot. I just want you to acknowledge me. And I'll keep the house clean and I'll buy you food. You'll buy them food? Yeah. Okay. Like, if Not they're hungry, I'll give you food. Would you, what would you make? They're I don't know, anything. So you're like, not a cook? I guess. I can make you mac and cheese. <laughs> I'm half black, so I have that southern food in me. Like... I got it. Wait, not the food? Yeah, you're not gonna, it's not gonna be bland. <laughs> like, you won't hate your life. What are things you do now, like? Baby girl. Baby girl. Mac and cheese ain't something you play with. Let me break it down to you this way. You can come to Thanksgiving and get uninvited to the next Thanksgiving based on how bad your mac and cheese performed. Now, black folks, tell the truth. Have you ever been to a family gathering for Thanksgiving and somebody mac and cheese don't get touched and the following Thanksgiving you don't see their ass no more. That love love embarrassment. Don't go playing with no mac and cheese now. <laughs> you could have said something else. So I was just drinking my water while I was on live and someone was like, do you know how many kids I've lost to you? And at first I was like, dang. And then I figured it out. Almost spit this out, but you know, I'm not a quitter. So, so I was just drinking my water while I was on. That's that white girl magic. <clears throat> That's that white girl magic, boy. If you know, you know. I don't check my wife's phone because it's like this is free will, right? God gave us free will, free will, right? We can agree on that. So it's like this: if my wife cheats on me, I don't want to know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna search. I'm not gonna go through her phone. I don't care who she likes. Somebody's posts on Instagram. I don't care if she follows somebody. It's as simple as this: because if I spend my time searching to make sure that my wife is not cheating on me, then I am not loving her to the best that I can. Like, boy, if you don't get your Mario Winans ass the fuck up out of here, I get it. You go searching for skeletons, you gonna find a dead body. But if a motherfucker getting extra penis on the side, I wanna know. Does that make sense? I'm too busy no, don't. being a fucking detective and worrying about if she's cheating on me that I'm not enjoying her. I need to enjoy my wife. If she cheats on me, she cheats on me. The moment that I find out, that's the moment that I can make the decision to either work it out with her or leave. Vice versa. I don't want to know if you plan me, keep it on the low. I want to know. I ain't even read the comment section of this. I don't even want to read the comment section of this because I already know it's going to be a whole bunch of females in there. Yes. Yes, King. It's so many insecure men out here. I could only imagine how many times the insecure words were used in that comment section. I'm not going, I'm not going through it because I'm going to get mad. You look like you piss, honey. <sighs> I don't pee in people's mouth no more. Whoa. So don't even think about it. Don't think about it because, listen... You want me to be somebody that I'm not no more. Y'all be trying to get me to go back to being somebody that I'm not no more. I'm not that no more. I'm not that no more. Because God changed you. God, let God change me. You let God change me. Let God change me, okay? Please let God change me. Y'all be trying to interfere with the work of God. Let God change me. That woman 
be talking that talk. Who remember her from a few months ago? I did a video on her a few months ago. Her sex appeal is crazy. Crazy thing is my wife been telling me to watch her video for the longest. So you know her sex appeal crazy when my wife be suggesting I watch her videos. Yeah. You got it. Shorty said, I don't. <laughs> she don't do that R. Kelly no more. Here we go. Whoa. Can you see that? <sighs> That feels so creepy, but as you can see, completely harmless. That is such a cool animal. Here we go. Whoa! Can you see that? <sighs> that feels so creepy, but as you can see, completely harmless. That is such a cool animal. Why? Oh, that's hard. <laughs> How you came in Valentine's? I'm like, yeah. What's your name? Uh, Scotty. Abby. You're from here? Uh, I'm from here. I'm from Atlanta. Oh, you flew out? Oh. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. So listen, she's from the A. Uh, like three and a half months. Trust each other? Oh, no, we're not doing the no, I'm asking if y'all trust yes, each other. Yes, we trust each other. When y'all having problems, who you talk to? My best friend and my sister. Okay, and when you have a problem, who you talk to? When you have a problem with your girl? By myself. What's your name again? Scotty. If you were to call her and be like, guess who told me I'm Valentine's, you say Scotty. Yeah, 100%. For sure, 100%. For sure. Yeah, you want me to do it? Would it be no other guy no, you could say? No, it wouldn't even be a question. <laughs> Nia! Guess who took me out for Valentine's Day? Guess who I'm with? Anna? Okay, I think... Oh my God. Oh my god. I'm in New York right now. Who am I with? You gotta do all that. Scotty! No, you didn't snitch. I'm gonna lie, I was shaky. You had to say New York. Hang out, hang out, hang out. First off, what part of New York is he from? We don't claim him. Ain't nobody from my neck of the woods is walking around with their girl face all over their clothes. We not doing that. You made an outfit out of your girl's face? And then it turns out somebody else was probably doing whatever to her face? Oh, no. Oh, whoa. Oh! Is this flag football or is it two hand? What, what is that? Are you allowed to do that? I don't play football, clearly. But are you allowed to do that? No pads, no helmets. You allowed to do people like that? Football players. I need y'all to chime in. From an outsider looking in, that look like a bitch move. I matched with three guys unhinged, but I didn't know who to date. So I invited them all to the same place, same time. Made the best man win. Stop allowing these Stop allowing these harlots to put you out in these type of predicaments. If she willingly put you in a position where you have to compete for her attention, she not worth it. Who do you think you are? I didn't know who to choose, so I invited all three of them. Made the best man win. <clears throat> I'm gonna stop. I don't think there's any issue with a man taking care of another man's child. Women do it all the time, whether you know or not. I think that the United States making DNA testing mandatory is stupid. If you feel like you need a DNA test, go do that on your own time. We got bigger problems. We have bigger problems. I'm sorry. I'm not paying for no mandatory test. I don't think there's any. Anything that makes sense, these bitches got a problem with it. There's so many men out here that find out later on in life that the child that they've been taking care of turns out not to be theirs. Who remember the video I reacted to? Older gentleman, had to be about 70 years old. His brother needed a, a kidney transplant or some type of transplant. They tested him, they tested his son, and realized that his son wasn't his. But actually, both his sons weren't his. His sons were 40. He didn't find out that his sons weren't his until they were 40. Imagine on your deathbed finding out that your legacy and your bloodline is not gonna be continued because your woman lied to you.
don't want no smoke. When I see people attempt these type of things, I be wondering, like, what are you going through? What are you going through? What made you even contemplate bending some metal with your hand? Respectfully, stop asking me if I want a sugar daddy. The answer is yes, but my faith and my God tell me no, and I'm trying to get into heaven. <laughs> If I don't get a golden ticket, I'm going to be pissed. I could have been out here selling charcuterie board, but no, my parents got to raise me with these kind of morals. Ugh. We done did a video on her before, man. I know she toxic. I don't even think it's bad toxic. Like, I just think, like, I ain't going to say. I'm married, so I ain't going to say what I want to say. But, yeah. <laughs> we got to get used to reacting at first. Okay. Get used to them coming. Let's go. The thing is, you guys are not used to them coming at your face and seeing it. Everybody. Coach. Closes their eyes. Coach. Coach, I know what you're trying to say, but oh, coach, in 2024, we can't put them words together like that. I know what you're trying to say, coach. I'm going to let you finish. I know what you're trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. You don't see what's coming. You don't know what's coming next. I. You saw something, you close your eyes, you have no idea what's going to happen when you open your eyes. Fast. You may not open your eyes. Yeah. We may be waking you up. You may be on your back, and I'll be shaking your legs like this. Facts. You okay? Facts. You okay? When you close your eyes. Facts. Keep them open. Hey, I'm not going to lie. That's a problem I have um, with boxing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me and my coach, we be in the ring. He got the uh, he got the pads on. He get the hitting at me and shit. I be like, I be so jumpy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I be so jumpy. I might shoot that jab and quick. I'm I'm uh, like I'm trying to block. You gotta keep your eyes on your opponent at all the time. So if they throw a jab, catch it, shoot. You feel me? If they throw a hook, you could you could you know what I'm saying? You could weave it. Any excuse to show y'all that I got these hands, bro. All right, so. You standing like this, you feel me? They throw a jab, you catch. You feel me? They throw a jab, you slip. You feel me? They throw a hook, roll under it. You feel me? But you got to always keep your eyes on your opponent. So just in case they throw, they fake that jab, because they might throw a jab and you close your eyes and the jab wasn't even there. So when I say they might, they might fake a jab, so they might, they might do something like boom. And because you're so scared, you close your eyes like this. Now you can't see, you can't see them no more. So the moment you do this, they might, boom, they're in the corner. You like, hold on, I gotta show you this way. So they fake the jab, right? You so scared, you do this. Now it might have been a situation like, boom, boom. Now, now they're in your body. Boom, they're on the side of you. They just hitting you with a whole, whole bunch of shots that you can't see. So yeah, that's something that I gotta work on too. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's something that I definitely got to work on, too. But, Coach, them words. Fuck, that got to be fake. That got to be fake. This is the second snake video I've seen tonight. And I do y'all think that's real? Am I tripping? Am I being like closed minded? Do snakes be drinking out of water bottles like that? Would a snake be that friendly to let you f quench his thirst? Pause. Let me let me stop being closed minded just because I won't do it. You know. Doesn't mean somebody else won't do it neither. So, yeah. I know I wouldn't be doing that.